This is MC Hellraiser. I'm playing on a second account of mine, Atrocity CBS, and this is a 26 kill perfection on the Keep Slayer map sandbox. First thing I do is go for laser, looking down the sniper hallway, because people will always go for that sniper rifle. Sure enough, I pick up a kill right away. Second thing I do is laser the oncoming vehicles. Sure enough, get the double kill right away. There's a guy there that I lay some shots on. We already have people spawning underneath us at this base because we've already picked up three kills. I took some shots, so I'm hiding back here. This is a pretty good place to hide. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the most powerful positions on this map. This is definitely my favorite spot to hold whenever I get matches on Sandbox. You've got some of the highest ground on the entire level, aside from the sand dunes, but I don't really like those areas because there's nowhere to go. You've got places to exit, and it's a place where you can easily have your teammates spawn. Somewhere where you want to have your teammates spawn. And at the beginning, the, the lasers really dominate this map. There is a sniper, but as you can see, the laser has already got me two double kills and a couple other kills too. Now the only bad thing about this spot is uh, that guy spawned under us and snuck up and was crouch walking at some point up the side. And it can be pretty bad. At, at times you'll have their entire team spawn underneath you, which is why you kind of want to hang back if you decide to camp this position. You don't want to come up too far too much, especially if your team's not actively spawning there. Because if you're too far up, they can actually spawn underneath you or behind you, and you won't see until they're AR in you in the back. And I've definitely missed out on a lot of perfections on this map for that very reason. So I'm always trying to come back here and check to make sure that we don't have an entire legion of enemies spawning underneath us, rushing up with their BRs and assault rifles. Now, when you're back here on this high ground, it is a little bit harder to get kills, especially if you don't have a trash laser or a sniper. But can definitely spawn trap anyone who spawns underneath you can pick off guys like this unfortunate fellow. And um yeah, there's just there's a lot of there is still a lot of kill opportunities back here and the only thing you really have to worry about when you're up high on these bridges is the laser on the other side of the map and when you get hands or the sniper rifle that spawns. Maybe some rockets too. As long as you're active and alert and you keep moving, you've got a chance to survive pretty much anything. I got a little lucky there, had a teammate help clean up that kill. I was one shot too, so I was very lucky I survived that encounter. But um, I could sort of see what was going to happen, so I called out for help up there and fortunately somebody answered. And that won't always happen if you're playing with a lot of randoms, which is why I did bring one buddy of mine into this game with me, and it's a good thing he was there too, he ended up helping me out a lot later on. And I see they've got a warthog going around the map, but unfortunately I don't have a fresh laser, so there's not much I can do about it right now. The driver of that hog seems pretty aware of it too, so um, he's circling our base pretty hardcore. Um, it's been about four minutes though, so I decided I want to try and pick up the new laser if it's spawned and nobody else has gotten to it yet. I decided to go underneath because it's really easy to... If I, if I were to go down the side of the base, it would be really easy to get caught by that warthog and maybe a couple long-range BRs and get killed pretty quick. And I don't want to risk that happening, so I decided to take the safe route. And it paid off pretty well. I took some shots just in the split second that I came out to pick up that laser, so it was a pretty good decision, I think. It would have been an even better decision if I hadn't missed that really easy laser on the other side of the map, but whatever. Oh. At least that guy spawns there and asks me to kill him. I'm pretty sure that guy has a sniper right there. Can't be sure, but I had seen a sniper shot fired earlier. 
I don't know how that chopper survived. I and the second I fire at him, there he gets out. Awesome. So that's three shots wasted. But sometimes that's how it goes. Starting to spawn underneath us again. Kind of annoying, but I've got the superior position, so not too much he can really do. I see another one on my radar spawning underneath. So I'm, I'm crouching just enough so that I'm not quite where he expects me to be. Now, I ended up failing to clean up this guy, and it's really easy to go and just chase after him, because I know I can shoot him off in one shot, but I don't. That's risky behavior, and sure enough, you see there's another dot on my radar. Another dot, too. If I chased him, these guys would have killed me for sure. Fortunately, the third guy there didn't decide to follow his buddy. They could have easily killed me if they'd worked together, but for some reason this guy thought it'd be a lot better to go run into three of my teammates and leave his guy hanging. But, you know, whatever. I'll take it. See some shots being thrown at C-11 there. And coming up sort of trying to figure out where it's coming from. See if I can maybe help him out. Catch two guys on a tumbling mongoose there. Fortunately, I don't miss that laser at least. Got a crazy teammate driving a chopper around on the side of structures. He's an elite, so I wouldn't expect anything less. Usually, um, if you see a dinosaur, you know, that's what most that's what most uh, higher end players would refer to as uh, whatever, that's what most higher level players would call an elite and you see them driving around vehicles, they tend to be pretty careless, so I kind of try to stay out of their way even though they're on my team. Now this guy under me has got rockets, and now he has a buddy who spawned next to him, so I can't be sure exactly which one of them has the rocket launcher, so I've got to be really careful here. Even that guy, my buddy, has a rocket launcher as well, and cleans him up. 